Okay, so you want me to talk about Skyward Harp. Now, Skyward Harp is a phenomenal five-star bow. Honestly, it might be one of my favorite Skyward weapons. So, so in this video, we're gonna look at the stats of it, what it does, and what characters it can be good for. So, Skyward Harp. As you can see, I have a level 91 on my Sara. Gets up your crit rate, which is very, very good for any character that you want a good crit split on. And when we look at this passive, we see why it's so good. Not only does it increase your crit rate, it increases your crit damage by 20%. And then the second part, hits have a 60% chance to inflict a small AOE attack, dealing 125% physical damage attack. I don't really care about the second part. The fact that you get crit rate and crit damage in the same weapon is so good. So, so good. So recently in these weapon videos, I've been kind of showing how the passive of the weapon works. Um, this one, I... It's kind of hard to show the crit rate and crit damage, right? Um, so instead, I'm just going to show a video of my Sara doing 213,000 damage with having this weapon equipped. Now, I do have this weapon on Sara for a very specific reason. And we're going to segue into what characters this can be good for with that comment. So, obviously, Sara. So Sara, whose skill gives an attack buff by whatever character is on the field and hit by her little electro thingy, the attack buff is calculated based on the base attack of the weapon and the base attack of Sara, just like how Benny's burst works. So I wanted to have a very high base attack bow on Sara, so that way whatever character, in my case it's usually Raiden, gets a really good attack buff. Now, I do use this weapon on Sara in the Abyss, and I do hit over 100k in the Abyss with Sara. So it's very, very good to increase your overall damage. Now, let's look at some other characters besides Sara that can use this weapon. So first, we're going to look at Fischl, the Princess and Dev Hurtalung herself. Even with having just Oz, if you're not using Fischl on the field, this is a phenomenal weapon, especially in an aggravate team. Next, we're going to look at Tartaglia, who can definitely use this weapon because of crit rate and crit damage. That's going to be the overarching theme of characters that can use it, characters that want crit rates and crit damage, which are going to be the majority of them. Next is going to be Kale, especially if you're using her for like a spread or aggravate team, not necessarily for a bloom team. Then, of course, we've got the Animo Archon Venti spoilers. He can definitely use it. He gets energy recharge on his own with Ascension. So having this weapon that does a lot of damage with his burst is phenomenal. Then we have Farazan, if you want damage Farazan. If you want support C6 Farazan, stick with Favorbo. But if you want damage Farazan, you can use other weapons. Then we're going to have Amber. Even Amber can use this weapon very well. On field, melt, vaporize, charge attack Amber. Let it fly. Do it. Now we're going to rapid fire the characters that I don't have. Lenny, crit rate, crit damage. Phenomenal for a character like Lenny. Tainari, great for spread, aggravate Tainari. Crit rate, crit damage, overarching theme. It's going to be really, really good for Yelon, though you might want something with energy recharge on Yelon. This still can be very, very good on Yelon. Having it on Yoimiya for Vaporize or Melt Yoimiya is going to be phenomenal. Crit rate, crit damage, I'm going to say it every single character. Melt Ganyu, absolutely. She can make very, very good use out of it. Crit rate, crit damage, it's good for everybody. And then you can use it on Aloy, which I am scrolling to try to find Aloy. Uh, I don't have Aloy, and if you don't have her, she doesn't show up on here. But you can use it on Aloy as well. So in case you did not pick up on the overarching theme in this video it is that this weapon is phenomenal for just about every single bow character in the game i know i could have said that at the beginning and it would have been a much shorter video but then you wouldn't be sticking around to watch this at the very end and see that my hair color is fading so that is going to be it for this video if you do have any questions do be sure to leave it down in the comments myself or somebody else will be sure to answer it and i will see you in the next one